Maxine Waters goes full commie, housing is a necessary human right. Maxine Waters is sounding more and more like Nancy Pelosi. Recently, Waters blasted HUD Secretary Ben Carson and claimed housing was a right. Since when is housing a right? I don't remember that being in the Constitution, do you? Will somebody please remind Maxine Waters to take her medications? There she goes again. Maxine Waters is echoing Bernie Sanders on things like healthcare, education and housing being a necessary human right. No, they aren't. Waters is a ranking member of the House Financial Services Committee. Here's a hint. Never put socialists on that committee. It won't end well. She was one of several African-American Democrats on the committee who blasted HUD Secretary Ben Carson as uncaring and incompetent simply because he supports the Trump administration's budget cuts. In the face of the immense housing needs in our country, President Trump chose Dr. Ben Carson to serve as the head of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Waters said in her opening statement. The Secretary of HUD is supposed to be at the forefront of our efforts to create strong communities, expand access to safe, decent and affordable housing, and enforce fair housing rights. Housing is the foundation on which our entire society is built. It is a platform for economic mobility and well-being. It is a crucial part of our national economy. It is a necessary human right. We need strong leadership and a bold vision for HUD in order to expand access to affordable housing in this country. Unfortunately, I have seen nothing to indicate that Secretary Carson is up to the challenge. This is ironic coming from Waters who is the most corrupt official in Congress currently. And that's saying something. She's complaining about Trump's budget, which slashes funding for critical housing programs. No, it cleans up the graft and waste that those like Maxine Waters have let go unchecked for decades. Carson told the committee that spending more taxpayer dollars does not necessarily create better outcomes. And he's right. We must constantly evaluate our programs to ensure that we are delivering services effectively and efficiently to HUD's constituents and responding to today's challenges with the best practices and technologies, the secretary said. Carson added that he's working to reform our programs and remain careful stewards of taxpayer dollars. Two Democrats yielded their time to Waters, so she had three chances to grill Carson. She spent most of that opportunity interrogating Carson on whether he agrees with various tweets and statements Trump has made. Waters wanted to know if he agreed with Trump, who threatened to abandon Puerto Rico recovery efforts. Do you agree that they should be abandoned, that Puerto Rico should be abandoned? Carson said, of course it should not be abandoned. Waters demanded to know if Puerto Rico should be shamed for its own plight. I don't think it's beneficial to go around shaming people in general, Carson replied. You know, I'm beginning to wonder if Waters is one of the members who is getting Alzheimer's meds delivered to Congress. Just saying, just saying.